Hello, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. You know, I'm not a big fan of boiled vegetables. So we're gonna do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna start with an onion. If you do nothing but add an onion to your cabbage, oh, so good. So I'm just gonna take a nice half an onion here. This is a big onion, so I think half might just do because I have just two small heads of cabbage here. All right, I'm not gonna cut these teeny tiny. I'm just gonna kind of quarter it. I like it in kind of medium sizes and not too, too thin. But the sweetness of an onion is what makes this good. So let's put this on. Let that warm up. We're gonna put a little olive oil in. Make sure these are all these, yes. I think that's probably gonna be enough. We'll see. So anyway, um, but you know, there is a special secret ingredient, of course, it goes in with our cabbage. Now, usually I would be putting, what am I doing? Oil first. Usually I would be putting some potatoes in here too, but since I put some potatoes in my corned beef yesterday, I don't wanna over potato myself today. So I'm, today I'm just doing a side of cabbage. Oh yes, that's so beautiful. So start with that. Look at my beautiful spoon. My friend Andy made and sent me. Hope you're watching, Andy. Andy D's Woodworks. Very soon you're gonna be able to order these. So just stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook up, get those nice and soft. And then I'm just going to chop up my cabbage. So I have two small cabbages here. Actually, let's talk about cabbage. So sometimes you go to the store, they look like this. And sometimes you go and they look like this. It's all the same. I peel these greens up, but you know what? As long as the green pieces are nice, like this has one little ugly piece at the top I'm just gonna rip off, but this one's beautiful. I took the one ugly leaf that was off the top already. And now I'm just gonna kind of, if you wanna call it, cube it, but it's not really cubed because obviously it's leaves on the inside. And these are cute little teeny ones. Okay. And see, when you get down to the middle, this looks just like the rest of them. So I'm just gonna take these leaves because they're big loose leaves and I'll cut them up separately. I definitely want the green. The darker the green, the more vitamins. You know, I'm gonna start throwing some of these in. Make sure they're, and they're gonna break up as they go in there. So if they're kind of still stuck together, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> So if I was doing potatoes with this, I'd put them all in at the same time. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you want to put the potatoes in first because, you know, they take longer to cook, but you know what, just cut them accordingly. If you don't have much time, cut the potatoes smaller. If you got lots of time, cut them bigger. You know, it doesn't matter. I tend to put them in like, you know, little one inch cubey kind of size. So I'm just kind of moving the onions around a little so that they're not just sitting on the bottom so that they don't burn up. Plus I'm getting a little bit of that oil mixed in there. Okay, now I'm just gonna take these big leaves and then just Now the outer leaves are tougher, so if you wanna cut them a little smaller, that's wise because then when you go to bite into them, you don't want like this big piece of leaf that you're, you know, they soften, but they're still a little tougher. But they have a nice little color, extra vitamins. So whenever you have the choice of buying, you know, you see two cabbages on the counter there. Um, and there's one that's all white looking and one that has like the green leaves. If the green leaves are nice looking, get the one with the green leaves and use that. Those are also nice and big and sturdy if you want to like roll them up and stuff them with something. So I've got a whole pot of onion, uh, onion whole pot of uh, whatever this stuff is, cabbage. Okay. Now, um, the only thing I'm going to do, really, there's not much left to be done. I'm going to add just a smidge more oil, get that out of the way. Now I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt. Stir this up. This already 
smells better than the boiled cabbage I'm not fond of. Mind you, I'll eat it if you just add a spice to it. But anyway, all right. And then the secret ingredient. Oh, look at that. So you can let this cook down a little longer or you can put this in now. But I, you know, put it in because it gives it some liquid, you know, as this cooks. So I'm gonna put about half of this in. So that's about, I don't know, a cup, cup and a half. And I'll see if I need the rest. You don't want it to be, it's not in a tomato sauce. It just has some tomato in it that makes the whole thing pink. So right now this looks bright red, but once it cooks down and all melds together, this thing comes out like a peachy, orangey, pinky kind of color. This is probably just enough. Now you've got a lot of chunks in here because you know the inner parts of the cabbage, you know, is kind of hard and chunky. So, you know, just as you go along and as you're stirring, just kind of here and there, break one up. It's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're gonna have this beautiful, but it's gonna get all nice and mushy cabbagey. And it is so good. So you can do this. Like I said, you can add potatoes and it's a meal. You leave it with just the cabbage and it's a side dish. Or you can put this over pasta if you wanted. I don't usually. I just eat it as it is. I can eat a whole bowl of this. It is so yummy. So what happens here is that the onions make it sweet. The tomatoes kind of, you know, tomato sauce, a little bit of, you know, fresh tomatoes like this. Well, not fresh, but I mean fresh, just plain tomatoes. Just adds, you know, the love to it. It's red, it's love. Um, and so it really gives a little, cabbage unto itself has its own little kind of somewhat benign yet somewhat off flavor but it does really take specially to the onions. So you just put it all together. It doesn't have garlic in it. Some people will put garlic in something like this. I don't. Now, if you feel it's too dry and you don't wanna put more sauce in, because I don't recommend putting a whole lot of sauce. Like right now, and if you can see, it's just slightly coated with the tomato and it's all gonna mush together. So at the very beginning, if you want to, let's see here. Grab just a small glass of water. You know, this is like, you know, not even, like maybe a third of a cup. All right, so that little teeny bit of water gives it, you know, enough liquid that will eventually evaporate out, but just gives it enough to get started until the cabbage makes its own liquid. Ah, oh, and just let it cook down for a bit. So this is my very simple, um, cabbage dish that I love having. So I call it usually, usually my, my Italian cabbage and potatoes. Um, right now it's just Italian cabbage. It's just one way to do it, but it's my favorite way. So here is my beautiful cooked cabbage with the beautiful tomatoes in it and my pretty, you know, you can see the onions and the two different colors of the cabbage, the darker leaves make a nice contrast in the dish. And you know, let me just show you up close here really quickly. I'm gonna tilt this down. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Well, let's see if I can get it the right way. Look at that. So anyway, so now back to me. Um, so anyway, so I just want to show you how good it is because you can't taste it. So this is, you know, taste of vision <laughs> not smell-o-vision, taste of vision if I can just get some without. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. So today's St. Patrick's Day. So again, even though I did it yesterday, I'm wearing my green necklace. And um, now I'm gonna bring this up. On Friday is the Feast of St. Joseph. So today's St. Patrick and Friday St. Joseph. Now, why does that have any value? Well, St. Joseph was you know, in our Catholic faith, Jesus' heavenly father, uh, earthly father. And so in Italy, St. Joseph's Day is also Father's Day. A typical food made for St. Joseph's Day are zeppoli di San Giuseppe. So it's a zeppoli, some people know what zeppoli are. There's little, there's a couple different kinds. There's the little teeny ones that are like fried dough balls that are kind of like little donuts. But then there's like the fancy ones that are swirled and they have the pastry cream on top with a cherry on top. Those are yummy. Those are the ones for St. Joseph's Day. 
Anyway, so I hope you um, enjoy my cabbage, Italian style for St. Patrick's Day. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bring this to your table. It's a great side dish. It's a vegetable. This is a dish that I have gotten people who don't like cabbage to like cabbage. So it's one of those dishes. Also, um, you know, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't already. Um, that's youtube.com slash Doreenas Kitchen. I'm trying to up my following there. I may be doing some lives there in the future, so you want to be prepared to catch me wherever I might be. So have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Ciao.